ever wondered how critical nitrate levels are in the growth of your lettuce? If you have, then you're in the right place. Today, we're unraveling the connection between nitrate levels and lettuce growth. Why nitrates, you ask? Well, nitrates are a crucial nutrient that lettuce plants need to thrive. When nitrate levels are just right, lettuce plants can reach their full potential. They grow bigger, taste better, and even last longer after being harvested. But what happens when nitrate levels are too high or too low? The effects can be quite dramatic, leading to stunted growth, yellowing leaves, or even plant death. So it's clear that nitrates play a vital role in the life of a lettuce plant. But just how much is the right amount? And how can you ensure your lettuce is getting exactly what it needs? These are some of the questions we'll be exploring in this enlightening journey. Join us as we delve into the world of nitrates and lettuce growth. Nitrate, a form of nitrogen, is more than just a nutrient. It's the lifeblood of any plant fueling its growth and development. Nitrate is an essential component of amino acids, which are the building blocks of proteins, the macromolecules that control virtually all biochemical reactions in a plant. But that's not all. Nitrate also plays a critical role in a plant's energy production. It's a key component in the process of photosynthesis, where plants convert sunlight, carbon dioxide, and water into glucose, their primary source of energy. By providing the nitrogen needed to produce chlorophyll, the green pigment that captures sunlight, nitrate is indirectly responsible for the energy that powers a plant's growth. In the case of lettuce, a leafy green vegetable, nitrate is even more important. Lettuce leaves are essentially factories of photosynthesis, and a steady supply of nitrate ensures these factories run smoothly, producing the energy the plant needs to grow. But nitrate doesn't just enhance a plant's growth, it also affects the quality of the produce. In lettuce, for example, it influences the color, texture and taste of the leaves. Too little nitrate and the lettuce leaves may turn yellow and taste bitter. Too much and they may become tough and lose their sweet, crisp flavor. So it's not just about how much lettuce you can grow. It's about growing the best tasting, highest quality lettuce you can. And that's where nitrate comes in. By providing the nitrogen necessary for protein synthesis and energy production, nitrate helps lettuce plants grow quickly and produce flavorful, crisp leaves. But like all good things, nitrate must be used in moderation. Too much nitrate can lead to excessive leaf growth at the expense of root development, making the plant more vulnerable to drought and disease. On the flip side, too little nitrate can stunt a plant's growth and lower the quality of its produce. In conclusion, nitrate plays a vital role in plant growth, particularly in leafy green vegetables like lettuce. It's involved in protein synthesis, energy production, and even the quality of the produce. Without the right amount of nitrate, your lettuce might not reach its full potential. So, how do you determine the perfect nitrate level for your lettuce? When it comes to growing lettuce, one crucial factor we need to take into account is the nitrate level in the soil. But how do we determine this? Well, it's not as complicated as you might think. There are two primary ways to measure nitrate levels, soil testing and nitrate level charts. Let's start with soil testing. This is a straightforward process that involves taking a sample of your soil and sending it off to a laboratory for analysis. The lab will then provide you with a detailed report indicating the amount of nitrate and other nutrients in your soil. This information is invaluable as it not only tells you the current nitrate level but also gives you an idea about what other nutrients might be lacking or abundant in your soil. Now, on to nitrate level charts. These charts are beneficial tools that can help you understand the nitrate levels required for different plant types, including lettuce. A nitrate level chart typically presents the ideal nitrate levels for various plants in a simple and easy to understand format. For lettuce, the ideal nitrate level is usually between 50 and 150 parts per million. It's important to remember though, that these are general guidelines. 
the optimal nitrate level for your lettuce could vary based on several factors, including the specific variety of lettuce you're growing, the soil type, and the local climate. Therefore, it's always a good idea to monitor your lettuce plants closely and adjust the nitrate levels as needed based on their growth and health. Determining the right nitrate level for lettuce is not a one-time thing. It's an ongoing process that requires regular monitoring and adjustments to ensure your lettuce plants are getting exactly what they need to grow and thrive. Knowing the nitrate level in your soil is the first step towards growing healthy lettuce. And remember, every step you take towards understanding your soil better is a step towards a more successful harvest. So get testing, consult those charts and watch your lettuce flourish. You've determined the nitrate level. Now, how do you maintain it? It's a question that many of us ask and the answer lies in a combination of effective strategies. Firstly, let's talk about proper fertilization. The type, amount and timing of fertilizer application can significantly influence nitrate levels in your soil. Organic fertilizers such as compost and manure are excellent sources of nitrogen, but they release nitrates slowly over time. In contrast, chemical fertilizers provide a quick boost of nitrates, but can potentially lead to an excess if not applied judiciously. Hence, a balanced approach using a mix of organic and chemical fertilizers often works best. Next, we have crop rotation. This age-old farming technique is a fantastic way to maintain soil health and consequently, the right nitrate levels. By growing different crops in succession, you can naturally balance the nutrient content of your soil. For instance, legumes such as beans and peas can fix atmospheric nitrogen into the soil replenishing nitrate levels for the next crop. Lastly, we cannot emphasize enough the importance of regular soil testing. It's like a health checkup for your soil, telling you exactly what's happening beneath the surface. Regular soil tests can help you monitor nitrate levels and adjust your fertilization and crop rotation strategies accordingly. Remember, maintaining the right nitrate level isn't a one-time task. It's an ongoing process that requires attention, vigilance, and a willingness to adapt based on your soil's needs. But the end result, a lush, healthy crop of lettuce, is certainly worth the effort. So, whether you're a seasoned farmer or a novice gardener, these strategies can help you keep your soil's nitrate levels in check, ensuring that your lettuce grows in the best possible conditions. Maintaining the right nitrate level is a continuous process, but it's worth it for the health of your lettuce. The key is to stay informed, be observant, and never stop learning because, at the end of the day, the health of your soil is the foundation of your garden's success. Let's recap the key points about nitrate levels and lettuce growth. We've journeyed through the fascinating world of nitrates and their crucial role in the growth and development of lettuce. We started off by unraveling the bond between nitrate and lettuce, a relationship that is as essential as it is intricate. We then dived into the science of what nitrate is and the pivotal part it plays in plant growth. It became clear that nitrate is not just a nutrient, it's the lifeblood of plants. It's the fuel that powers their growth, the catalyst that sparks their development. We then turned our focus to the process of determining the right nitrate level for lettuce. This is a process that requires precision and careful monitoring too little nitrate and the lettuce will be undernourished, leading to stunted growth and poor yield. Too much nitrate and the lettuce could be overwhelmed, resulting in nitrate toxicity that could harm the plant and anyone who consumes it. We also touched on the importance of maintaining the correct nitrate level once it's established. This involves regular testing of the soil or hydroponic solution adjusting the nitrate level as necessary and keeping a watchful eye on the lettuce plants for any signs of nitrate deficiency or excess. It's a delicate balance, but with the right knowledge and tools, it's a balance that can be achieved. But it's not just about the quantity of nitrate. We also delved into the quality of the nitrate source. 
Organic nitrogen sources such as compost and manure can provide a steady supply of nitrate while also enriching the soil with other beneficial nutrients and microorganisms. They're a sustainable and eco-friendly option for maintaining the nitrate level in your lettuce garden. So there you have it. From the science of nitrate to the art of maintaining its level, we've covered the essentials of nitrate management for lettuce growth. It's a topic that's as broad as it is deep, but with the knowledge you've gained, you're well equipped to navigate it. Remember, the right nitrate level is key in growing a healthy and productive lettuce crop. Happy farming!